Good morning guys from Dreamworld. I'm here today to do a quick update on the steel tie pan. Alex is at work so she won't be with me today. Uh, we will be heading to Movie World later this week so fingers crossed uh, she'll be there for that one. Uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button helps us out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. All right, let's go for a walk, have a look, see what's happening. Um, just before I do go for a walk, a lot of people have been saying, oh, you've been at Dreamworld a fair bit lately. Why is that? So just to let everybody know, on the 11th of November last year, I decided uh, that I was going to do a time lapse of the construction of the steel tie pan. So we're six months in, six months to go. Uh, I've been coming once a week, twice a week, sometimes three times a week to take pictures from the same spot. Hopefully it turns out really well. Uh, not 100% not sure, but fingers crossed it'll turn out really well. All right, let's go for a walk and have a look, see what's happening around there. Just while we're down here at uh, the Corroboree, the bird aviary is back open again now. You're allowed back in there was shut for quite a long time not going in today but uh, next time I'm here with Alex we'll come in because she loves birds not we are around at the uh, giant drop now so fair warning um, down here at the train station you cannot get through anymore that's all blocked off uh, because they're about to start doing these these ones here um, so for you to get to the giant drop you've got to go all the way around through the wildlife area and then come back big walk so make sure you're going to ride it while you're here I'm probably going to have two or three goes before I walk back so just looking at the steel tie pan here uh, it's going really really quick the loop is now complete they said the other day that you're going to come out of that loop and go through a rock tunnel. Uh, we saw the rock tunnel in the car park, which I believe is going to go uh, just here where the track dips into the ground. I'll, I'll move around the other side of when I walk back around and we'll try and get a better view from there. If we turn around here to the right, you can see the mid-ride braking run is up there now and the set of stairs uh, if the ride breaks down that's where you'll be stopping and you'll have to come down those stairs hopefully it never happens but I'm sure it will one day still no word on the train you can see the train just there in the background hopefully we'll know what's going on with that shortly just a slightly different angle on the on the track but you can see the track is under underground level just there so it's going through a little tunnel well the, the rocks are going to be over the top of that you can see over the back there they've started the load and unload station just a few concrete blocks at the moment uh, but that's where you'll be hopping on and off so there's no no flags flying off the loop because the loops not the highest part of the coaster the highest part will be the tail that you get shot back up on your second launch which they haven't started yet because once they do that I feel they're going to block off the whole area and they won't be able to get in so the 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 flags I think will be flying up here somewhere off the off the tail when it goes up I feel I may have given you a little bit of wrong information um, because you're going to come out of the launch and come flying over the top of Sky Voyager and then I feel these two tracks are going to join together then you kind of come back down through the tunnel out of the tunnel into the loop and then come around around to the mid mid ride braking run so just standing here looking at the track and I don't think you can come out of the loop through the tunnel it's it's definitely the other way around you're going to go through the tunnel first and then up into the loop. Just around beside Sky Voyager, um, you can see it all quite clearly from here and it's looking real nice. 
I can't really get a good view of where the track goes underground, where the uh, where the rock the rock tunnel is going to be. But it's just near the uh, yellow yellow netting inside there. Judging by what's left in the car park, it's uh, probably a bit over halfway done. The actual track. A lot of other stuff left to do, but the track itself should be complete fairly quickly, or fairly soon, sorry. This to me is a very interesting piece of track. Uh, I feel, and it's sitting there upside down at the moment, but I feel this is the part of the track that's going to move. So when you come out of the station and roll around to the first launch, this is the part of the track that you'll be on, and then it'll swing over, so you go back up the big hill when you come backwards. I can't seem to find the other piece. It may be inside already, but that is definitely the uh, part where you come out of the station on. They announced the other day that uh, when you come out of the loop, you're gonna be going through a rock tunnel. This is all the formwork for the rocks that's gonna be on the tunnel. So you're gonna come shooting down the hill and then plunge into darkness. These, these here are gonna form the rocks. Uh, they stack on top of each other. They don't look that high, but they will stack on top of each other. And then they'll spray them with the foam to make them look like rocks. This one, this one here's got no mesh on the top. So it will be the bottom. And then you can see just behind it, the uh, ones that got the mesh on the top, that, that will sit on top of this to form the rock the rock tunnel. If we have a look in the car park here, we can see that it is quite empty now compared to what it used to be. Um, there's not very many pieces left here at all. So it's just about, the, the track itself is not far from being finished. That piece in front of us is a very strange looking one as well. Let me just zoom in on, on it a little bit. Have a look at the twist on that. Wow, that's going to be uh, pretty hectic riding that. All right, guys, that's going to do it today from Dreamworld. Hope you enjoyed a uh, look at the steel Taipan, how it's going. Uh, going along very nicely, I feel. Just the other thing I wanted to say is it's the 40th birthday this year of Dreamworld, and that's the 12th of December. That's when I feel this is going to open. It'll be the 12th of December. It'll be Dreamworld's birthday present for itself and uh, hopefully drag the crowds back. Like they say, life begins at 40, so hopefully that's the case with Dreamworld. It's going to come back to life with the new roller coaster. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week. Hooroo!